Good morning, guys. Hope all is well. Hope you enjoyed the live we had last night. And we had a request from Kimberly last night, and she asked me if I could check into Olivia Fowler's disappearance. So we're going to go over a few things. Um, first, we have, it says Olivia Samantha Fowler. August 13th, 2021, Meriwether County, Georgia. Um, date of birth was March 23rd, 1995. She has blonde hair, green eyes. She's five foot, two inches tall, 103 pounds, small in stature. She's female, white. Fowler has a, a tattoo on her right arm that reads, I love you. And it says remarks, Fowler has ties to Meriwether County, Harris County, Talbot County, and Upson County, Georgia. Details, the Atlanta Division of the FBI and the Meriwether County Sheriff's Office are seeking the public's assistance in locating Olivia Fowler. Fowler, a mother of three, was last seen on August 13, 2021, walking along Pebble Brook Road outside the town of Manchester in Meriwether County, Georgia. She was last seen wearing a tie-dye shirt, shorts, and flip-flops. Her personal belongings were left behind. To submit a tip, if you have any information concerning this person, please contact your local FBI office or the nearest American embassy or consulate. And like I said, that was August 13th of 2021. Now it's surpassed one year. And it says, missing in America. One year later, sister still searching, Georgia woman, Olivia Fowler. The 27-year-old mother of three was last spotted walking along Pebble Brook Road in Meriwether County, Georgia on August 13, 2021. She hasn't been seen since. Now, this is her sister, Roxanne Talkin. It says, I knew something was wrong. Roxanne Fowler told Dateline. It's a sister thing. It's been almost one year since Roxanne's older sister, 27-year-old Olivia Fowler, was last seen in Meriwether County, Georgia. It's been hell, Roxanne said. There's just literally no sign of her. The Fowler sisters grew up in Woodbury, Georgia, within Meriwether County. It's all really a small town. We only have one grocery store. Despite the size of the town, Roxanne told Dateline, she and her sister would always find things to do. We would always ride around in the car listening to music, she said. Roxanne told Dateline, they grew closer when they both became pregnant around the same time. She loves her family, Roxanne said. She never had many friends. She was just always a family person. Olivia's three young children live with Olivia and Roxanne's cousin who has custody of them. Olivia didn't really have stable housing, so she split her time between her mother's house in Manchester and her father's house in Woodbury, about 15 minutes away from each other. Roxanne told Dateline she spoke with her sister on the morning of August 12, 2021 at their mother's house, and everything seemed fine. My mom had babysat my son and I was getting ready to leave for work, Roxanne told Dateline. Olivia was fixing to get in the shower. She asked me to use my phone so she could listen to music. Roxanne added that Olivia did not have a phone at the time. I told her that I had to go to work. I was already running behind, so I told her I love her, and I left. That was the last time Roxanne saw her sister. That night, Olivia was staying at her boyfriend's house on Short Street in Manchester. He said that he was going to bed, Roxanne recalled, Olivia's boyfriend telling her. She told him that she was going on the porch to smoke a cigarette. Roxanne told Dateline that Olivia's boyfriend told her that when he woke up the next morning on August 13th, Olivia wasn't there. Local residents that live on that same street said they seen her that morning walking at 7.38 a.m., Roxanne said. 
Then a Georgia Department of Natural Resources officer spotted her. That was about 10 o'clock a.m. Roxanne said she believes Olivia was headed to a little place called The Cove in Manchester. It's just a part of town, Roxanne told Dateline. That was the last time she was seen. Roxanne said she got a concerning call from her mother on Saturday, August the 14th. She was like, hey, have you talked to Olivia? And I was like, no. Roxanne said, she said your daddy just came down here looking for her. Roxanne said as soon as her mother told her Olivia hadn't been seen since Friday, she immediately jumped into action. I said, well, I'm fixing to make a police report, Roxanne told Dateline, adding that she called her cousin for assistance. She called and made the police report. Their cousin reported Olivia missing on August 14, 2021. The Meriwether County Sheriff's Office is investigating Olivia's disappearance. Dateline spoke with Chief Deputy Brian Hadley, who confirmed that Olivia was last seen on August 13, 2021, around 10.30 a.m. by a Georgia Department of Natural Resource Officer on Pebble Brook Road. Chief Deputy Hadley told Dateline that their department has executed over 20 search warrants and checked multiple counties and states for Olivia. He added that they have also done land and air operations related to the case and have had canine searches. Deputy Hadley stressed to Dateline that they have worked the case diligently. We're actively looking and seeking any information we possibly can. Hadley told Dateline, he said that as of now, there is no direct information related to foul play, but their office is not ruling it out. I know that they're diligently working on the case, Roxanne said, so hopefully we can get answers soon. In May of 2022, it was announced that the FBI joined the search for Olivia. The Atlanta division of the FBI posted on their website that they, the Meriwether County Sheriff's Office, are seeking the public's assistance in locating Olivia Fowler. Fowler, a mother of three, was last seen on August 13, 2021, walking along Pebble Brook Road outside the town of Manchester in Meriwether County, Georgia. The FBI said Olivia also has ties to Meriwether County, Harris County, and Talbot County, and Upson County, Georgia. Roxanne told Dateline, it is extremely unlike her sister to just disappear. It's very, very odd, Roxanne said. It's a really small town and everybody talks. Roxanne said she believes someone knows something, but is refusing to speak up. Roxanne stressed that Olivia does not have a history of mental health issues. It's been a really tough time on me. My family, her children, Roxanne said, it's been rough. But Roxanne told Dateline they have not given up the search for Olivia. We passed out flyers. We have campaign style yard signs, Roxanne said, just trying to reach out to everyone. If you know anything, just come forward, Roxanne pleaded. I'm getting married in September, so I would love to have her be there. Olivia is five foot two inches, 105 pounds, with dirty blonde hair with blonde highlights and green eyes. She has a missing tooth on the right side of her mouth and has the words, I love you, tattooed in the elbow crease of her right arm, Roxanne stated, and the eye is a bit faded. According to Roxanne, Olivia was last seen wearing tie-dye shirt, shorts, and flip-flops. Anyone with information regarding Olivia's disappearance is asked to contact their local FBI office or the Meriwether County Sheriff's Office at 706-672-4489. They also have out things, who is Olivia Fowler? Olivia Fowler was 26 when she went missing. She is the mother of three small children. Her aunt, Tamara McCoy, who organized Olivia's army to search for her niece, told Fox 5 Atlanta in September 2021, Olivia wouldn't go 40 days without reaching out for her family. The FBI said Fowler has ties to the Meriwether, Harris, Talbot, and Upson counties. She's about 5 foot 2 inches tall with a weight of 103 pounds. She has blonde hair, green eyes, and a tattoo on her right arm that reads, I love you.
Olivia Fowler's disappearance. It was 10.30 a.m. on August 13, 2021, a Department of Natural Resource Ranger saw Fowler walking along Pebble Brook Road in Meriwether County. The location was outside of Manchester, two hours south of Atlanta. Both law enforcement and her family says that that was the last known sighting of her. The Meriwether County Sheriff's Office said Fowler was last seen wearing tie-dye shirt, white cut-off shorts, and black flip-flops. The FBI joins investigation in May 2022, 10 months after she was last seen. FBI Columbus resident agency said it had joined the search. Fowler's loved ones had new optimism at the time of the FBI's announcement. Maybe it will all come out eventually, Roxanne Fowler, Olivia's sister, said. Maybe we'll all get answers soon. Meriwether County investigators said in May that they were still aggressively working the case. The FBI declined to comment on their involvement in May. Guys, keep her story out there. Keep her face out there. She's got three little babies that she really needs to come home to, and her family is missing her desperately. Let's all say a prayer for her. Let's see her come home safe.